Hey everybody, um, I make my first video on 2020 design. Uh, I plan on doing actually quite a few tutorials on 2020 design, but the first thing I wanted to come out with for a video for you guys was something that I looked up uh, pretty intensely and I couldn't find anything real specific on, on this particular topic. So I decided I'd go ahead and make one myself so that way people like you uh, can, can get the information that you need. Uh, this is uh, for the 2020 design, uh, the newest feature that they have come out with, which is to basically do a virtual reality tour, a virtual tour of your kitchen or bath or whatever it is that you're using this for uh, to help either your client or yourself to really get a, a very good uh, uh, perception of what it is that you're designing. Um, I, I am a kitchen and bathroom designer. I use this program on a daily basis. It's a very, very good program uh, to have. It uh, it makes things very easy. It uh, it's it's very intuitive. So uh, if you don't have it already, which I don't think you'd be watching this if you don't, but uh, if you don't, then I definitely suggest that if you're in the uh, design uh, kind of profession, then I would suggest getting this. But like I said, what I'm going to be focusing on today is not going to be very long. It's just going to be about the virtual reality kind of virtual tour that you can go through. They call it the 360 panorama view, but it's actually uh, it's really a whole lot more than that. And I have actually increased my sales based on this because everybody knows anybody who's in sales uh, knows that uh, people buy on emotion. And if you can get them excited about something, it's kind of like test driving a car, right? So if somebody test drives a car, you know that they're a lot more likely to buy that car than before they test drive it. So this is kind of like a way that 2020 has set it up so we can test drive our uh, kitchen or bathroom or you know whatever it is that you're designing uh, and it makes it more uh, makes your job easier uh, by doing this so first thing you want to do is go out and get yourself a uh, a set of uh, Google Cardboard uh, you know the virtual reality headset or you can get any of the any of the you know the, the other versions of that there are some other versions of that, such as the gear, uh, the uh, there's lots of other, you know, like you know, plastic versions, something that you can set your phone into and get, you know, get the same results. So the first thing I want to say is that if you have 2020 design, you do have to have version 11.4. If you have version 11, uh, I think it was, I think the, I think the one that most people have now that had had gotten the version 11 it says like 11.23 or something like that um, the way you can check to see what version you have is you want to go uh, into file and then go into help and go to about 2020 design and right here you can see that this is 11.4.0.69 uh, so that's the version you need to have or else this is not going to work uh, the easy, the, the, what you have to do in order to get that is uh, you have to already have, well, if you have a key, you have to have a, you have to have a 2020 key, um, which comes in the form of like a USB uh, flash drive, and that key is associated with an email account and uh, an account on 2020.net. Uh, so you want to go to 2020.net and go to support. Uh, I'm sorry, log in and then go to support and download and then it will uh, prompt you to download the newest version which is 11.4. Again, like I said, if you don't have 11.4, this will not work. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and pull up a, uh, a random, let's see here, let me see. actually, you know, I'll pull up a specific one that I have in mind, um, one of the ones that I've been working on here. Uh, this particular kitchen, Uh, this is a kitchen that I've been working on here, and uh, this is one that I actually did sell, uh, and the client actually did tell me specifically that one of the biggest things that they loved about me as a designer, uh, as opposed to going anywhere else, was the fact that I had this opportunity to be able to show them this uh, almost like a real, real life standing in the kitchen opportunity to be able to see what their kitchen was like, right? So here's the design for the kitchen. Um, and so the first thing you want to do in order to get this virtual reality uh, set up going is you want to go into your perspective view. Once you go into your perspective view, 
my just let me actually just say this. My computer is actually not the best of the best. It's got some of the basic. Uh, it's got what you need in order to run 2020, but it's not the best of the best. So, um, I'm, a couple of things I'm going to go over with you on this is not going to be something. You might be able to do something uh, faster or better than what I can do, uh, but I'm just going to tell you what I do myself. So I've already designed this, I've already designed my kitchen, I've already done everything that the client has asked me to do. Uh, the next thing you need to do is go up to File and click on Save as 360 Panoramic View. Alright, and once you, do, once you click on uh, 360 Panoramic View, this right here is your camera. The triangle is where it's pointing. Uh, my suggestion for you, and this is just something for people who are doing uh, kitchens and bathrooms, a good idea is to really try to center it into the part that's that's going to see the most of, of, of your design. So um, in this particular situation, it would be you know right right in the center here. Uh, when you do an auto center camera, it a lot of times doesn't actually put it exactly where it is that you should have it. Uh, but I mean, it's a good it's a good thing to have if it really worked, but it really actually doesn't seem doesn't seem to work as well as what it really is made to. Um, your camera height, so a really you know a good idea is to do it at you know the height of what somebody is going to be. So six you know sixty inches is um, sixty inches is five feet. Uh, a good idea is to go ahead and put it right. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. 5 times 12 is 72. 5 times 12 is 72. What am I saying? Okay, you know what? 60, you know, between 60 and 65 inches is a good place to have it for a kitchen. Uh, so people can get, really get the idea of if they were standing in the kitchen, uh, they would know, you know, basically what it would look like. Now the quality here, this is entirely based on your computer. I do low just because if I do high, which I have done before, it takes literally uh, about an hour, about an hour to do. Um, I do low. It doesn't. It's not as bad as it sounds, but the quality of low is is not as detailed as obviously as if you were to do high. So I click low just because it it, it renders much quicker because it's actually got quite a few processes to go through uh, in order to make this rendering. Um, and then you can click on Open 360 Panoramic View in web browser when complete. So that way, when it's completely done, it will automatically open this up. Because when this does this, what it automatically will do, when you want to look at this, it's not going to be opening this up in 2020. It will not open this no matter what. This will not open in 2020. It will open in a browser. It's basically saved on a server, which is why you're going to click Publish. Once you've chosen all this information, you put your camera where you want it. You hit publish. Once you click on publish, it's going to bring this uh, little uh, window up for you. <clears throat> Anything that you see in asterisk, you're going to have to fill out. Fill out your name, fill out your uh, your email address, your uh, the customer's first and last name, and uh, and the customer's email address. Uh, this is actually, this is a personal preference. I don't put the customer's uh, email address in there because I like to be able to stand in front of the customer and show them this with something that they probably don't have, which is that virtual reality headset. Now someone can, you know, you can look through, you can, you can do the 360 panoramic view on the computer or, you know, on a phone and get an idea of what this place is going to look like, but it's a totally different, that's why this virtual reality thing is so cool, is because it gives you a totally different perspective of what you're looking at. It's like you're standing in, the, you're doing your test drive, right? So you fill out all, all this information, and then you hit and then you hit send, or publish, or you know whatever it's going to say there. And once it's done, uh, it's going to go through s six different rendering phases, um, and again, that's where it takes the most time. So you're going to want to, like I said, pick whatever option is going to be best suited for you and your computer and your time of what you need in order to be able to do this. Um, I've actually already done a uh, view of this uh, that you can look at here. This is a 360 panoramic view in low. 
uh, the quality is low on this. Left open the you know the, the trash rollout so that they can see it. Um, now the thing is though is that this is on the computer. What's going to happen is on the phone you're going to have uh, the option to do VR, which stands for virtual reality. It will show a picture of what looks like goggles, and you'll you'll tap that, and it will bring up. Uh, once you turn your phone to the side, it should bring up a side-by-side -side picture. Um, here's something that you need to know is that it may or may not happen to you, but it did happen to me. For some reason, when I first opened up uh, this for the very first time on my phone, it did not do a side-by-side -side picture. So uh, I had to you know, shut it down and then restart it on my phone. And, and then it brought up the, 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 you know, the side by side. But what it does is, again, you just turn your head in, the, in this headset and it shows you everything um, in virtual reality, which is really cool. I didn't go all out on this. I could have done other walls and something like that to really make it feel like it was really there, but uh, like you're really there, but I didn't do that in this particular one. This is really just to well, plus the person that I, I'm dealing with here on this particular project, I've dealt with on several occasions, and you know they asked me to not really you know go crazy with this just because they need to show their client. No need to go into further detail. Anyway, so um, this is like I said, this is what it produces, and this is what your customer can see. Now you can send this in to them in an email, but that's entirely up to you. I personally don't because I like to have full control over what they see and when they see it. So um, that's it. So that's how you do the uh, 360 panoramic view, also uh, giving you the option for a virtual reality uh, show, a virtual tour is what I like to call it, um, for the customer so they can see this, or for you, whatever it is, that, you know, whatever your profession calls for. Uh, but it's really pretty easy. The thing is though, is that for some reason, this information is not readily available on the internet. Um, it doesn't seem to be anyway. Um, I did find one one place that it was, but it didn't. It wasn't all that clear. So I just wanted to do a step by step and show you guys. Um, but that's what we're dealing with um, with the new virtual reality. Really exciting stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to when, uh, an update. Hopefully that they'll come out with that will make it so that you can actually use a controller to actually walk through the entire you know space of what you have. I'm hoping that they'll come out with that eventually so that you can really do a virtual tour of the space that you've created. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for that, guys. Um, that's how you set up a 360 panoramic view. Also, like I said, uh, you what you'll do is you open that up in your phone, and once you turn it to the side, set it up, push the little goggles, and it will set you up with a virtual reality side-by-side, -side, so you can set it right in there. I hope this has been informational for you guys. And I would love to know if there's any particular aspect of 2020 that you are not familiar with or that you'd like to know how to deal with. Um, if I don't know how to do it, then I will find out how. And it's great learning for me as well. So, And then I'll post a video about it so you guys can figure it out too. Um, again, hope this has been helpful for you guys. And I will see you in the next tutorial. See you guys, bye.